Hey guys, I wanted to make a really quick video here showing you how to get AppOps back on Android 4.4.2. Now, if you don't know what AppOps is, it's basically the hidden inbuilt permissions manager inside Android. And I thought Google completely got rid of this in Android 4.4.2. It turns out they didn't, they just hid it a little bit further. Obviously, they don't want the end user to use this, but I actually find it quite useful for certain apps that I don't want them to use location or things like that. So what you're gonna need to do this is the exposed framework. And once you have that installed, you need a module. So go to the download section and you need to find AppOps Exposed. Install this like any other module and then do a soft reboot. Don't forget to activate it first. And this module is a little bit different. It doesn't actually have a user interface, whereas the Gravity Box and Greenify do. So what this module actually does is it adds a new tab under your settings application. So if we dive into settings here, you'll see that under personal, we now have a new tab called AppOps. So it's a, a really neat little solution to actually manage your permissions per app. And if we tap into this, it's exactly like we had before, location, personal messaging, all the different tabs. And just to test this out, we're gonna try it on Twitter. Now, I'm not saying you would do it on Twitter, but it's just a test. So let's load it up first, and you'll see that it uses the location every time we open up the app. There it is, so it does it every time. Now, what we're gonna do is dive into the permissions manager, App Ops, and go into Twitter. You can turn all these different things off, and we're gonna turn off location. So now Twitter can no longer use location. So let's do this again. No longer does it come up with the location because it can't use it. I've turned that permission off. And we'll just try that one more time just to show you. Not using it. So yeah, it's as simple as that. Now I'm not saying you would use it for Twitter, but let's say for example, you have an app that maybe you're not sure about. You can make sure that it doesn't use anything you don't want it to use. If you don't want it to read your contacts, you can turn that off and all sorts of things like that. If you don't want it to keep your device awake, you can turn that off as well. Now there's also another module in the exposed framework downloads called X privacy. And I did take a quick look at this. It's a lot more detailed and it does give you more options, but it is a little bit more complicated. Now I probably will come back to this and make a video on that, but right now this seems like a more elegant solution, mainly because it's just fitting into your settings menu quite nicely. But like I said, X privacy does look like it has a few more options. So I may have a look at that, but yeah, that's how you expose app ops in Android 4.4.2. Peace out.